nutrition's down. Agility's terrible. I've got 2.2k Groshen and tournament arrow. This must be because of the tournament I was in, right? But actually, I need to go talk to Sir Rats about the sword. I took one trip to Scallets and didn't find anything. Any information about where my sword might be. So I guess we probably should just go talk to Sir Ratzik. Before I do that, I think I need to go buy some arrows so I have a bit of variety. I was thinking about that. Or let's say Henry was thinking about that. That he might have handled that, uh, that one person in scallops with the armor if I had piercing arrows. So I think I'm going to get me some of those. Good fella. That's my boy. Let's Look feed what it. I've got for you. Feed the You'll man. love this. Probably find something to eat too. Maybe I'll do that before I go talk to uh, Huntsman Berthold. Yeah, there he is. Oh, he's got food there. He wouldn't mind. That'll get me up a little bit. I'm honored that you should come to me. Okay, gonna talk trade here. Okay, I can look at what I have first. Twenty-six hunting arrows, better hunting arrows. Okay, and five of these. These aren't worth anything, but I'm going to sell those to him. I don't need him. You could buy this mint. And the marigold, too. He gives me probably as good a price as anybody. So I'll sell that stuff. I'm going to buy uh, four of these. Uh, 25 of these. And the piercing arrows. I get 30 of these. Oh boy. Yeah. That's a bunch of money. All right. 
my agility here. It says I can't really get myself a better bow than what I have. So this is what I'm doing. Let's go ahead and haggle. <coughs> I'd like to discuss the price. Hmm. All right, so. Here you are, with a little topper. My word, thank you kindly. Not a problem. Okay, probably should, uh... Hmm, what are we gonna do with mutt? If I'm gonna go into ceramic service, if that happens, I should probably... Go ahead and get mud. We'll take him to Perkstein with me. Okay, I think I have everything I, I want. I wanted some arrows, a variety. And probably they will... Uh, I probably could put about half of each on, on the horse. Wait a second. That's in the wrong place. Move half of these. The horse. Hunting arrows. Uh, yes, just 15. I think I'm gonna have to reset them. Maybe I... Okay. I'm not planning on making myself into anything. One last thing. Save your schnapps. 32. Hey, you know, I can probably sell a few of those, I'll bet you. I don't need 32. It's a good deal of income. Let's go look at... Check the apothecary over here. I have time. You've no business here. Clear off. Oh, that's odd. Hmm. Oh, we'll see here. Now he went in. So is it open now? No, it's uh, very hard. So the apothecary the gentleman is not here. I think I will go check in with the uh, tanner, the trader over by the tanner. That's close. It's nice to actually find somebody that's nice and convenient in all the different areas and trade with them primarily because you'll get better reputation with them at better price and they'll start to have Good more morning. cash for you too. $370. Sell. Give me about 28 per, which is a little less than what the uh, apothecary would give me. Man, 
about 22. I don't think that she could do that many. Let me check. Yeah. So basket. Yeah, let's just do this. Let's talk about the price. Sure, why not? This, and uh, a little something on top, for good measure. My word! Thank you kindly. Yep. You're welcome. finally shows up. Maybe he had a rough night last night. There, door's open. There's the apothecary. God be with you. <clears throat> See, he's still got just 250. Price is just slightly higher. Got a really a better reputation here. Okay. I can get rid of nine. I don't think I can do nine though. Maybe I could have. Two. Yeah, that's okay. Let's have a word about the price. All right. Here, and uh, something for your trouble. Well now, thank you very much. Yep. So I got all his money. And probably should head over to, let me check what time it is. It's still morning. Let's ride up. See if we can go find some trouble. See if we can go find ourselves some bandits so we can we can question about a fella named Runt, right? anything by this afternoon. I'm going to have to go and talk to Sir Ransom. At least yes. that's the plan. I'll have to grab me some, some herbs. A lot of dogwood I'll drop by there later. And I should be carrying some around with me for my charisma bonus. So there's some right there. 
there I can grab. It's probably enough. Yeah. That I don't trust this horse particularly much when it comes to facing down a you know a bandit or two I'd almost be better off like in this place here where I have been attacked through here I'd be better off getting off Trojan because Trojan doesn't like confrontation Connectivity issue. Let's see if I can get my sword out. Oh, come on, dude. I'm going to enjoy no, you're not. This. You're not going to enjoy it at all. Oh, poop. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, well, he's got fine wine on him. sell it. Moonshine, I can sell that too. It seems to be fairly valuable, as is the bard potion, so you can get those as well. Put the sword away. Yeah, what are you doing in there? Hiding in the bushes? There's some belladonna back in there. But I doubt that it's completely full yet. Besides, we don't need any savior schnapps. And my alchemy is making progress. Okay. Are they after me? Let's get off the horse. Oh, he is. Oh, oh you look like you did. back somehow. Who are these guys? Traitors. Hey, get up. You're clear here. Ah, there he is. Uh, sorry about that. You okay? Yeah, you seem fine. Easily frightened. Yeah.
table back there where I bought this fine animal. What if I should get horseshoes? Probably should, you know. I do have the money now. Probably should should be around. Oops. That's even more expensive. 50 durability. Military ones are 60. Weight's the same. It accelerates the horse's trot and canter. one that gives you the fastest gallop. 600 and... okay. He, could have, he can afford to be a little bit faster. Let's go ahead and do that. Check the basket. Haggle. I can probably get her Let's to take just a little bit less. Hmm. Speech All bonus. Right, Good. 620 is what I was going to suggest. Let's go to 600. I think she'll take it. Ah, yep. that would do it. Thank you very much. Yeah. Noble's horseshoes. Let's move the horse. Go to sidekick, tack. See if this actually it boosts the speed a bit. Bonus. Yay, 
see this area right here. Popping out of the bushes. Okay, there's nobody here. I think that's probably one of the things about getting a horse with low courage is if you're moving and getting yourself into a situation with some cumin or something that you have to be careful that this horse is probably going to throw you. Looking for some wormwood along here. So I know there's some up forward a little bit. I think I've actually been attacked here once, too. Can't remember. Here's some. It's probably not enough. Charisma 10. Okay, that did give me a boost. go take a bath before you head off to see uh, Saradzic. So let's do that too. Good boy. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. Wait here for me. Stay.
God be with you. What can I do for you? I'd like to uh, order something here. And what is it you'd like? Proper bath. And my clothes need washing. That can be arranged, but you'll pay in advance. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. May the Lord watch it. A great dog. Just sitting there guarding the entrance way there. To me? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go do do our duty. That be the smith's son, Hal. On my soul. It is him. What are you doing here, lad? We thought you were done for. I must speak with Sir Radzik. Is he here? He's in the palace with Sir Hanush of Ratai. They're feasting in the knight's hall. What do you want with him? My father made him a sword. He, um, he asked me to deliver it to Sir Radzik. I don't see any sword. No. Bandits attacked me and stole it. I need to tell his lordship what happened. And then I'm going to find the sword. Of course you are, Hal. Good luck. Thanks. Okay. I will need to go up here, I think. It's probably up here, too. It's pointing... The A shield up there is pointing this direction. Before I do this, let me go ahead and get rid of the bow. Look more dignified without it. Your graces. I have to tell you in all seriousness that this land of ours is in the shit. Deep fucking shit. Don't you agree? I might not have put it as eloquently as you, Hanush, but I've been driven out of my own castle, so I'm hardly going to disagree. Indeed. But Pirtstein is yours for as long as you need it. Room enough for your men and you here at Rate, and I'm sure my ward won't have any objection to me lending you his castle. I'd be honored. Pechstein is at your disposal as long as you wish, Your Grace. Just as well you have another castle at the other end of town, eh? <laughs> ah, at any rate, I'm beholden to you, Sir Hans, and to you, Sir Panosh. I don't like to speak ill of your people, Sir Radzik, but, well. There's no love lost between the townsfolk and the refugees. There's been talk of criminality. No, they'll have to get used to it until the situation's resolved. But when will it be resolved? And what on God's earth is this war even about? I won't lie, sir. I don't understand it. You aren't alone, father. I believe Sigismund's original intention was to persuade Wenceslas to accept the imperial crown and to leave the rule of Bohemia to him. Well, who could blame him? I know Wenceslas is a friend of yours, Radzig, but even you have to admit, he brought it upon himself. I can't deny the king neglected affairs of state for other pursuits. There is a need for order in the land, but I don't think the lords who sided with Sigismund realized just what Hungarian order looks like. <laughs> Hungarian order. 
What concerns me, sir, is how a good Christian could resort to such brutality. To give him his due, I don't think he expected the lords of this country to stand behind the king. But thanks to him, we're tearing ourselves apart, and now he has to get things under control. But why in God's name does he have to use those barbarians? Money is the root of all evil, young sir. Wars are costly, and this one has dragged on for a year. Sigismund ran out of coin for knights, so he recruited those whore sons that settled in Hungary. The less he pays, the more they make up for it with plunder. That's why he attacked us. He was after our silver. What are you doing? You have no business here. Clear off. Wait, it's Henry. Henry, who disappeared <laughs> after I clearly ordered him to remain at Taunberg. I'm sorry, sir, but I had to bury my parents. Had to? Do you think you were the only man who lost someone there? But the others listened to their lord. And it wasn't just your own life you nearly threw away. So Robard and his men risked theirs to save you. I'm sorry, but I had to. No, oh, there you go. When you have to, you have to, Radzik. <laughs> your father was a remarkable man. And your mother, she was remarkable too. They deserved a Christian burial. Did you manage that at least? No. I was attacked by thieves. I wouldn't be here now if it wasn't for that girl. Girl? The miller's daughter, Teresa. <laughs> the miller's daughter saved you from the footpads? Well, there's a tale to tell your children. Uh, I owe her my life. She distracted them and then brought me to Ratai. But without Sir Robard, we'd both be dead. Oh, that's what I call a good woman. Hang on to that one, lad. Still, it's a great shame your parents are buried in unconsecrated ground. That means purgatory for them. Be quiet, friar. I didn't invite you here to eat me out of house and home and deliver a sermon while you were doing it. If you're so concerned, Father, maybe you should save the innocent souls of these fine Christians yourself. Go to Scalitz and consecrate their graves. I assure you, if you're killed by bandits, your soul will soar straight to heaven. As long as someone buries you in consecrated ground first. If there's anything left to bury, that plump carcass of yours would be quite a feast for the wolves and the crows. And one skeleton looks much like another, so how would we know which were your ordained bones or those of Sigismund's Tartars? Be that as it may, why have you come here? I must get your sword back. Sword? My sword hangs here at my side. No, the sword my father forged for you. One of those thieves stole it from me. They almost killed him and he already wants to go back. Takes after his father, I suppose. Lad, I've lost a castle, a village, silver mines and a good half of my subjects. Why would I miss one sword? Because it's the last one my father forged and I promised him I'd deliver it to you. I understand. I'd feel the same way. But prudence is the better part of valour. And a dead man keeps no promises. Aye woman had to save his fat from the fire and now he wants revenge. What kind of fool are you, boy? He's no fool. Henry, you have courage, but you need training, arms, a horse. Or do you mean to beat this thief at dice? No, sir. Please, take me into your service and give me the chance to learn these things. The gall of him. Fled from the enemy, disobeyed your orders, duped Sir Divish, lost your sword, put Sir Robard in danger with his actions, and now he wants a promotion. Sir Capon's right. What you say is certainly true, except for fleeing the enemy. You would have run as well, believe me. Henry's earned some punishment, but how do you punish someone who's already lost everything? Hmm? Courage and blind obedience are good qualities for a soldier, but a wise man also appreciates loyalty, perseverance, and determination. Besides, that was a fine sword that his father made. If he thinks he can get it back, I won't turn it down. My lord, he's a peasant. You can't make a squire of a peasant. Why not? Someone made a priest of a pig. He isn't a peasant, father. He's a blacksmith. And recent events have left me in need of his skills. So, you'd like to enter my service? Sir, I... Yes, I would. You won't regret it. <laughs> I probably will. I'm doing this for your father, lad. Don't disappoint me. Oh, fortune has finally smiled on you today, lad. 
Make the most of it. Now that I think about it, Sir Hanush, the boy needs training and experience, and you need spear carriers. Hmm. That's true. The bailiff is always complaining about your people making trouble in the camp. Maybe one of their own among the guard might help. It might. In any event, it will prove valuable experience. <laughs> but let's be clear. You're the one paying him. <laughs> Captain Bernard, see to his training, and then send him to the bailiff. Yes, sir. And don't spare him. You can rely on it, sir. Don't forget, Henry. Don't disappoint me. I won't, my lord. Okay. So, Capon and Bernard don't like Henry much. the training ground and talk to Captain Bernard. I wonder if he would even be there by now. Let's just flip this puppy around. for goods and torches for the night. I have it all. Well met. Oh, here I got this from that bad guy. Let's see if I can't sell that. What did I just move to horse by mistake? My bow? Yeah, I did. I didn't have it equipped anyway. Let's get off for a second. I don't think I can get through here, can I? No. Okay, so I want you to go all the way around this way. Let's see what this guy will purchase. Good health to you. about Bard Potion? You know, he wouldn't mind having that. And this? I'll keep the wine. Here the dog. Moonshine. This sword, which wasn't worth hardly anything. Some wormwood. Oh, wait a second here. I should probably keep that. Can we do something about the price? Sure, why not? Finally, a reasonable sum. It's just a rounding. Make it easier. Me 
to fire that bow thing. If I do that, it probably wouldn't hurt to actually set this. Something like that. Yep, that's right. See if we can clean up. The Bernard's already. Oop. Captain Bernard's not here. I should stop by during the day. Ah, okay. So this is a postponement. Until tomorrow. Shoot. Yeah. That's disappointing. Now what do you do, huh? herbs to make some money there's really nothing you can do until you get your training or you could uh, go find some trouble maybe clear some map area that you haven't been to it is kind of late in the evening but it's not that late that I should quit. Let's go ride our horse around a little bit. See if we can't find a good patch of something. Yeah. We go up this road. This takes you to Noiha. into bumping me. What's up here? Isn't a, there isn't a ton, except for these patches like this one. You can actually pick up quite a bit of that. I should take a look at that when I do one of those big ones. Next time I do a big one, I'll check how much I've got and see how much I get from this. This is like this one right here. Look at all that. Ah, uh, yeah. But, okay. That's where I have to click. Let's go ahead and look at the inventory. The wood is 197. If I click on this, 
check it again. It's 221, so that's uh, about 24. <coughs> so 24 each time you grab one of these big areas like that. What's that? Oh, it's just a rock. So I got 34 off of that one. So for that one little thing, if I'm getting 0.7 per, it's not one, but I could be probably 200 Roshan right there just for doing one little dip or am I wrong about that? No, I'm wrong about that. You don't make that kind of money on herbs. Because if it were 34 or whatever it was, if it were one, I'd be getting 34 groschen. So it was probably more like 25 to I don't have a calculator here, and besides, I'm trying to play a game. I can't make make math. Yeah, this is interesting. I think the road was back this way, right? That's all this, mint and valerian? Buried back here in the middle of nowhere. that is neither of those are really worth all that much but I bet you I just picked up a ton Valeria 90 mint 267 if you need mint or anything here's the spot This stuff really isn't worth anything. Drop it. All of it. Don't need it. And mint. Yeah, drop it. All of it. It just filled me a too much, and I don't want to put that in the, on the horse or anything. Hmm. That was kind of lucky. Bernard wasn't going to 
wasn't going to post himself there right after that, that meeting. So it has to be today. All right. Wait here for me. Stay. Rat Day Tournament. That's I don't a good think boy. That would be wise to do that before training. That's my boy. Look what I've got for you. You'll love this. We'll go sell all of that tomorrow, I think. Bring me something to eat. Let's see if she can get me a room. God be with you. Do you need anything? Can I sleep here? Aye, there's room here. For how long? Just the one night. No problem. But you pay in advance. There you go. You've got it all to yourself. No one will disturb you. Okay. I was hoping that she would buy. I'm honored that you should come yeah. to me. Okay. So, no, he won't either. Ah. Uh, so that guy's winning. That guy over there is... Oh, won't he let me play him? Oh, okay. So this is the guy I gotta play, huh? The guy all fancy dressed. Good day to you. Yeah, play me. Fancy throwing a few dice? I can afford that. Yeah. Unpopular <laughs> dice doesn't Best sound very way. good for me. So let's just, uh... When my odds are better, I'll do well here. So three, four, five, six. If there were a two instead of one of these fives, that would be good. But, oh, Use wow. your head, man. You lose everything. There's nothing here to lose. Ah, it's yet. not so bad at all. Fifty isn't anything. He's cheating. He's got fancy dice. Mm. Don't know exactly what they are. Okay, uh, go to town. Okay. Hmm. Should I? Should I? No, I daren't. Well, that's nice. It's really going my way today. If I was in your shoes, I'd pass all the goings <laughs> good. Time I had a throw. 
whining. That'll do me. Ah, oh, come on. It's time I had to throw. Why am I at a throw? I had a throw. It's no big <laughs> deal. He didn't have much anyway. Finished. Yeah, it's getting close. Pushing it. Not afraid of anything, eh? Use your head, man. You lose everything. Chance, huh? Obviously. <clears throat> Just do the one. I need something big, something that gets me into a second roll. This one's good. Eight fifty. Ah, oh, come on. So am I at a throw? <laughs> Do this though. Gotta roll. Ah, oh, come on. What time I had to throw? Gets me to 3600. See, I can't. Do it. He just needs to roll a one or a couple of fives. Okay, he's done. 
<laughs> Mine! Don't go out in zombie tummy. Wash up? Oh, I won't get any cleaner than I already am. do this recipe for moonshine, but I probably would never make it. Okay. Yeah, we're good. I think I'm carrying a lot of herbs, but I think I'll be trying to sell those first thing tomorrow. And then I'll go see Captain Bernard. Nourishment is really, really horrible. I'll have to deal with that tomorrow, too. <laughs> Nutrition will be down to 43. That's okay, that'll work. Captain Bernard probably won't show up for training that early, but I need to run to a merchant. Gosh, probably should put another hour on that. Let me do this. Till 7.30ish. Nourishment's down to 40. That's okay though.